In today's video, we are going to talk about Miriam and her Chinese husband's love story. <laughs> What's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I am filming from Northwest China, Qinghai province, outside of the capital city here, Xining, in a small Chinese village. And yes. if you are wondering <laughs> what I'm doing here, it's because I'm visiting Miriam. So could you please introduce yourself? Yes, I am Miriam from Sweden and I have been living in China off and on since 2015. Right. Yeah. And by the way, could you also introduce this really cool tea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I almost finished. This uh, is the black goji berry tea. It's really um, cool. The Qinghai specialty. Yeah, I've never had this before. I came here and she put honey in it today. I really like sweet things, so this is like really delicious. <laughs> Thank you very much. So in today's video, we are going to talk a little bit about Miriam and her Chinese husband's love story. Because <laughs> it's such a cute story, I really like it. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started on today's video. First, I want to know how did you and your husband meet in the first place? So I was an exchange student in Shanghai mm -hmm. in 2015 and in the autumn I mm. went to this event for organic food. Oh yeah, and then she's a big, big lover for uh, like yeah. sucker for oh, organic <laughs> food. Yeah, it's yeah. like a lot of small farmers and things. Mm. Like. And then my husband, or yeah, my now husband, and now was husband. Uh, also <laughs> there selling goji berries. These berries. So. so those are the thing that brought us together. together. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you were you were at the market, and then what were you looking at when you saw him first? I okay, guess so he he was. At the very front, like mm. he was one of the first people I saw when I got in. I was like, oh, yes. oh my god. <laughs> he was uh, quite handsome. Yeah. 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 And he then really cute, yeah. I started <laughs> from the opposite end, so like so for last. And Ooh. then when I got there, great move. I don't remember, but we said hello. But I don't remember that we said hello. But okay. we didn't say anything else. He told you. He, yeah. He didn't speak English. Yeah. He knew how to say hello. And All Chinese knows how to say <laughs> I didn't hello. Know. I didn't know how to speak any Chinese at the time. Right. How long had so you been in China at that time? I'd been in China for half a year. I'd actually yeah. taken classes like once a week, mm. but it, it's they didn't enough. do much. No, Chinese language is difficult, guys. Yeah. Like, it's not a overnight kind of thing. No. no. You so really have to put work in it. I, yeah. I couldn't speak to him in Chinese, mm. really. It is like, hi. <laughs> and then I still scanned. Like, they had little business cards, so they showed oh. up, showed the business card, and I could scan his WeChat. Oh. And then, yeah. <laughs> that was a great <laughs> move. So you, okay, so you just, you basically just said hello to each other, and then you, you scanned his WeChat, and then he you gave left. Me, he gave me a little cup of gotcha berry tea. Oh, that's nice. Oh, who then, doesn't fall for that? <laughs> <laughs> then I left. Yeah. So, then, so you, yeah. So you added his WeChat, mm. and then did he like send you a message afterwards or? No, like, no. So, so they were. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> they were, he was there with a friend of his. Mm. So I added both of their returns. Mm. Yeah. Because uh, I wanted to. They both gave me their cards. So. Okay, of course. And no, I want this guy because he's cuter cute. than that guy. <laughs> that would be so <laughs> weird. But then I didn't know which one was who. Like, mm. which one was him and which one wasn't. So I was like looking through the WeChat moments, and one guy had like posted a pictures of like fancy cars, like only cars, cars, oh, cars. So I was like, wow. okay, if this is the guy, that's cute. I don't want him anyway. That's so turn like, off. Yeah, yeah. So I chose the one who posted yeah. to like beautiful pictures of mountains and like, I hope it's this oh. one. So I and just yeah. want to, I just want to add that on WeChat, Chinese people, they have a tendency to not put their own profile picture. Yeah. It's so annoying. It's like very, annoying. very, us very often uh, a cartoon figure or like a yeah. dog. I have so many like dogs. A car. Car, yes, just the soccer, soccer, yeah, like uh, yeah. soccer players and stuff. It's so confusing. I even had, yeah. I was dating one guy who used Superman. Uh, yeah, and they don't even like, have their own name. Often, no, they just that's true. They have something have random. Yeah. I think I've mentioned this before. Then it's just like, um, if it's a girl, it's like sugar flower cutie kiss kiss something, <laughs> you know, and you're like, where did I meet her again? To be quite. So, so you talked to, did you talk to both of them afterwards to make sure? No, or? I just chose the one with nice pictures of mountains. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I wrote to him and I asked where I could buy the goji berries. Oh, and then he said, oh, you don't have to buy them, I'll send you a 
like a, oh. a jar of Gotti berries for free. And I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> then he sent me Gotti berries and he sent me handmade insoles like that his mother has made. Wow. And I didn't know that she made them at the time. He said it was women in his village. But yeah. It's actually, his mom who made it. Wow. Like, that's she, nice. Did you do the broderie? The yeah. Broderie? Yeah. yeah I think the broderie. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Wow. They make uh, like with beautiful different flowers and colors. Yeah. Whoa, okay, that's that's a pretty nice move. I don't know if you've mentioned, if I have mentioned this before, but Chinese guys, they have it, they're good at those things that like, I don't know, doing these like small, like nice, cute, cute things, things, yeah, you feel really like appreciated. And yeah, so tell me a little bit more about the whole WeChat situation, because obviously you didn't speak Chinese, he didn't speak English, like, how did yeah. you guys do that? <laughs> so I mean, you can translate on right. WeChat. So if he sends me a message in Chinese, I can yeah. translate it into English. So I was writing to him in English, and he was writing to me in Chinese. So you just and click, right? You just, like, how do you... You just like have the message, and then you click somewhere, and then it just like translates. translates. Yeah. And it's understandable, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, understandable. It's Many, you can make mistakes. Yeah. We made a really cute mistake, actually. Yeah? Because <laughs> you know when you recall a message on WeChat, mm. it says... Um, like you have your blah 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 has just recalled the message. Yeah, so you can delete a message if you said something yeah. really bad to your boyfriend in WeChat. You could just be like, okay, delete before he just sees yeah, it. do it fast. Do you it have like fast. I think two minutes, then you can. You do have it two minutes, and then your life is over. Yeah. So he said something, so and he that. recalled it, and then he said, "Why am I just um, recall the message?" Mm. And I was like, "Oh, what did you recall?" So I sent him that message. What did you recall? And he translated it, and then in Chinese it would be like, "What did you like? What do you remember?" Oh. So then he would tell me like his memory, like the first time he met me. And oh, I was like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's so cute. Uh, so a mistake. It's not at all what he said. I think the one he said was just like something yeah, not boring. important. Yeah. yeah. So a mistake turned into a very romantic moment, actually. Yeah. So you started. You texted a lot, right? For a long time, mm. right? Yeah, he would call me sometimes. Mm, okay. It was really awkward. That's really awkward. Because he yeah. didn't under like he didn't speak any uh, English. He yeah. didn't speak any still. So yeah, he would just <clears throat> you know he would say things that he didn't understand. He would just <laughs> say something like, in English, uh, and we just like okay. quite for a while, and then one would hang up. <laughs> That's so cute. Kind of it's easier if you're like together together because yeah, even sure. without being able to talk you can still be like you know cuddling you're sitting together yeah, you can you know use your hands and, do and things. You point at things yeah but if you're just talking on the phone it was not even video calling like it was just talking oh, on the phone it's really hard that's really tricky i still think it's difficult in chinese yeah to me too phone. like even with my chinese level i still yeah. think it's hard yeah and you i just get really nervous yeah you don't yeah. see the face and you yeah, can't read their expression no. so yeah. you have to completely rely on, mm. on the language yeah I don't like that either. Yeah, so you guys, you texted for a long time, and then what happened next? He came to Shanghai again. So oh. he wasn't living in Shanghai at the time, he was living in Qinghai. So Qinghai is very far away, by the way, guys. Yes. At that time, Shanghai. now there are fast trains, but oh. at the time I think the trains were at least like 30 hours. Yay! Wow! <laughs> That's a long time. Yeah. He came back to Shanghai to see you, or was he? What was he doing there? He was. He came back to Shanghai to be part of yet another event. Yes. Yeah. Because at the time we were not like officially dating. We yeah. Were just, you just. I mean, like I had a crush on him, and he had a crush on me, and yeah. we were kind of. Kind of. Yeah. I told you. To I told Lena before that I don't yeah. really. At the time, I didn't want a boyfriend or get right. married ever. Yeah. So she was like, it was not no, really part of the happen. plan. <laughs> um, but yeah. then, then he yeah. came and you were like, oh, <laughs> he's still kind of cute. Yeah. It was hard, yeah. Because yeah. it didn't make sense to you know see him and be have all those feelings if I didn't mm. want anything more. Yeah, then so you then, might as well just cut yeah. the contact and not waste time. But I think it was about more than half a year before we decided we... Mm. You might want to be together. Try. Yeah. And then you and came then, here, right? Yeah, I came here yeah. in June last year. Yeah. 2016. So she came here to give it a try. Yes. You were like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> all in. And what did you say? He brought you here, here, right? Yes, to the village. His parents live here, by the way, yes, too. Yes, live in the In the house. So, um, and he told you it was not so important, right? <laughs> yes. But he was like, no, it's not a big deal, just, no big deal. <laughs> we'll just be there for one night and then we're gonna go on because we wanted to travel more. Mm. 
places, but then there was a really big thing. It was a big everybody thing. in the village knew within like ten minutes everyone was like, Yeah, Who's that? Who's that? this is a small village so, and the yeah. people are looking <laughs> a lot already, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so how long did you stay that time when you came? About a week. Okay. So we, we did actually not go on a long trip after mm. because I liked it here. Yeah. <laughs> so we kinda of stayed around here and then did day trips. Yeah. Um, and then you fell so. in love with this place. Yeah. Yeah, and I had really experience, and I think that's important because now we're living with them, right? Mm. So if I hadn't gotten along with them, it would, mm. it would have been tricky. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna, guys. The next video is going to be a little bit more about the reaction from her in-laws and her parents as well. So you guys stayed here for a week, and then you go, you go where? Sweden. She goes yeah. home again. Yes. Long distance for Sweden. eight months. Eight months is a long time. Yeah. <laughs> but at the yeah. time, because I had studied Chinese for one year mm. by then, so it was better. Because then we could Oh, yes, Chinese recall. was getting better. Yes. Yeah. And it made a lot of difference. <laughs> a big difference. It does, yeah. yeah. If, you wanna, if you wanna date across cultures, it's a really good idea to learn a language. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would <laughs> say. So you went back for eight months and then you came back here and stayed, right? Yes. And she's still here. Oh my god. <laughs> so exciting to be here. Yay. So. And he's and you got married how long ago? We married what date is it today? Mm, the third. Oh yeah. So we got September. married uh, about two and a half oh one and a half months ago. Yeah. In July. Yeah, and she's still here. <laughs> That's really cool. So this is the love story for today's video. I am so in love. I hope you guys are too. Thank you for watching this uh, little video and thank you to Miriam for joining and thank you to her husband for helping us making the B-roll as well, the footage. He was, uh, he was really good, <laughs> a little shy in the beginning, but he did really well, yes. And also remember to check out my Patreon page if you're interested in supporting Lena Around and Ling Ling. And you should also go and check showaround.com, you can see the link below, because I signed up as a local tour guide in Beijing, so next time you come around, I you will definitely yes. you as a local tour guide. <laughs> you can uh, book me as a tour guide, and I know we will have a lot of fun. So anyways, hope you're having a great day evening, wherever you're on. Well, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling and Miriam is out. See ya and say Bye bye. <laughs>